Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another very exciting episode here on the MI Gardener channel. This is gonna be a quick video because we got tons of stuff going on in the front yard. If you guys have not yet followed us on Facebook, make sure to do that because we got a ton of projects going on in the front yard that you'll probably see in some future episodes, but it's landscaping related. Um, so, uh, well, it's not landscaping related, it is landscaping. Um, <laughs> we're landscaping the front. Um, <laughs> so that's what I, I'm uh, doing, but I wanted to get out here, do this video, um, because a lot of you have been asking about an update on the mint plant that we put in the grow bucket. So I wanted to talk about that, but it also, I wanted to add some value because if I figured I'm going to put out a video, I might as well put out, you know, a, a video with loads of information. Um, so I wanted to talk about some plants that do better in containers and why you'd want to put them in containers than they do actually in the garden. Um, and so we do get this question a lot and it's like, why would you put, why would you put something in a container rather than just letting it grow in the garden? Um, or, or, you know, hey, what are some plants that grow better in containers than grow in the garden? So I wanna answer those questions. And so basically I've broken it down into a couple different categories. The first one is that it reseeds very easily. If you have a plant like chives, chives do better in containers than they do in the main garden because they reseed so easily, it's best to have them set, uh, kind of set away from the garden unless you want your entire garden to be filled with chives, which is not a bad thing, but too much of anything can be a bad thing. Uh, so I prefer to keep them in containers. Um, another criteria is that they sprawl and vine. So we're not talking like tomatoes, which are considered a vine. Um, we're not talking about, you know, pumpkins. Those are a vine. Um, we're talking about things that will set down and create a whole new plant. So we're talking about things like mint, particularly is super invasive in the garden because anywhere it lays on the ground, it will set down roots and that root will essentially establish a whole new plant. Um, things like oregano, things like uh, thyme. Oh my goodness. These are plants that will completely overtake a garden space. And while that might not be a bad thing, some people don't have that space available. They're only growing in maybe a four by four bed or maybe it's just a single four by 12 bed like we're growing in. And the issue with that is that the space could be better used for growing other things and they could be kept in containers and they won't be, they, even if they do sprawl, they're really kept very contained. Other things are if they are kind of a um, little more temperamental, uh, if they don't like cold weather and you can bring them back indoors, things like our mango tree back there, uh, some of your figs, warmer weather figs, oranges, lemons, citruses like that, that don't like the cold weather that will die they need to be going back indoors. So um, obviously they're going to do much better in a container than they are in the garden. And then the last criteria is if they, if they uh, are, if they're bulbs, um, bulbs like daylilies, or um, if they're uh, like rhizomes, things like that, like violas, um, they are a very beautiful, don't get me wrong, but they will spread and grow like crazy. So I tend to keep those in containers as well. Now, daylilies we have over kind of by the shed just as like a little bit of a ornamental kind of uh, setup with our, some kind of tying in edibles with uh, kind of um, beautiful flowers and things like that for landscaping. Um, but when it does come to, uh, you know, when it does come to bulbing plants, more often than not, I will put them in a container just because daylilies would be like the, the slightest exception. Um, but they multiply and uh, violas with like crawling rhizomes. Oh my goodness, they will take over a garden faster than you can believe. So um, I will keep those in containers and they do far better. So uh, those are my criteria for plants that will do far better in containers than in the regular garden. Again, there are people that are going to disagree, but again, you have to understand where I'm coming from is that I, I want to help people get the most productivity out of their garden and things like mint, I find do great in containers. They love it in containers. And where I would normally put them in a garden and they'd take over the whole space, I can have all that space designated to growing more food for my family. And I can use containers to actually um, increase the amount of productivity on my land without having to build any more beds. So that is cool. With all that out of the way, I wanted to talk about the mint plant and how it's doing in the grow bucket setup to answer those questions. I am so blown away by this. And it's, it's something that, I mean, obviously I saw it coming because it's a real simple design. It's almost guaranteed. I mean, I don't see how you could possibly mess it up. Assuming you don't drill the, the drainage hole three inches from the bottom, you could flood your plants that way. But uh, I really don't see how you could mess this up if you follow the, the directions um, exactly. 
So this is an, a super easy uh, setup here. It's grown my mint plant better than I could have ever expected. In fact, it was way up here, it was way out here. We've cut it back for making um, mint lemonades, uh, cucumber mint waters, um, watermelon mint salads. Um, oh my gosh, I mean, you can't believe all the dishes we put this mint in. And so I absolutely love this. And we will be, trust me, we'll be doing a whole episode on refreshing mint drinks. Um, refreshing drinks you can make or you can add mint to because I think a lot of people uh, have mint but they're not really sure what to do with it. So uh, it's a super awesome, crisp, cooling, refreshing herb. And we love it here. So we use it all the time. And this thing has been growing faster than we can cut it. It's just doing so well. And part of that is the fact that this the water reservoir has really decreased stress almost to a you know minimum the only thing it's been stressed with is is just heat stress because we've had some real hot days and then real cold days um and that do, the mint does not like that temperature swing really nothing does uh, but it's done so well um and so uh yeah i just wanted to get that out there because we've had so many people asking about the grow bucket and how it's been doing um and on that topic i wanted to say Thank you again to Brian. Um, again, this is this is not a sponsored video. We are helping Brian out launch his product so he can do what he loves to do and help more people grow more food. Um, and so on that topic, he has sent a couple more over to us. Whoops. <laughs> he sent a couple more over to us. Um, and we're going to be setting up a bunch more mint buckets. We're going to get some chocolate mint, some cinnamon mint, uh, some, uh, I think, mojito mint. Um, and maybe an apple mint. Uh, and we're gonna get a bunch of different mints and we're gonna put them along the wall in kind of a, a like a little uh, a, a mint bucket farm there um, because we love our mints and we use them in tons of different dishes. Um, and so I asked him if he'd send a couple more over because it was growing this one so well. And, um, and also on the grow bucket setup, um, but you'll, you'll be seeing that in several episodes uh, from now, we're gonna be setting that up very soon after our projects in the front are done, but there's only a few more days on Brian's uh, Kickstarter campaign. And I've been kind of mentoring him throughout the whole process, kind of walking him through the do's and don'ts. And uh, you know, some mistakes have been made. It's, it's cool, everyone makes mistakes. He started out the campaign probably way more optimistic than he should have, um, and ended up not getting completely funded because the ask was uh, so high, but that's okay. I mean, everyone has to kind of start somewhere and see kind of where uh, interest is. Um, and so I said, Brian, I do not see, I want to see this thing fall by the wayside. I do not want to let, uh, you know, my supporters and your supporters down. We need to get this thing back up. We need to hit the ground running. He, he actually followed my advice, went back with a much more reasonable ask, um, and got it funded. Um, big thanks to everyone who came from our channel to go help Brian out because you actually got it funded. Uh, just another Am I Gardener success story and why so many people, so many small uh, startup kind of guys come to us with cool ideas that just don't have the money for big marketing and you know don't wanna pay for sponsored episodes and things like that. You know, I helped those guys out because I know what it was like for us to get started. And so, um, Brian, I'm really proud of you, really happy with how um, this has been growing. Um, definitely will continue to mentor him as the, as the time goes on how to improve if there are any improvements. Um, but the thing I am learning is also, I don't necessarily say that I, I know everything about every product. Um, but what I can say is that the things that I like about products I've started to learn is that I like when they're simple, I like when they're not overcomplicated, and, and that and I like when there's a lot less moving parts because the fewer moving parts um, you have, the less there is to go wrong. And, uh, and I just love this, this insert. I mean, you literally just take a five gallon bucket, for those that have not seen how to put it together, you just take a five gallon bucket, drop it in, and then you drill a hole three, about three inches up the side so that any excess water will drain out. And then you just put a piece of P a PVC pipe in um, as, you know, as high as you want and pop it in this hole here, it fits snug. And then that's where you pour your water in. And then you just, you just fill up the bucket till water starts going out the, going out the side hole there. And it's just, it's a no brainer. I mean, it really truly works and I, I love it. So um, again, a big thank you to Brian. Um, great job on the design. And uh, oh, final thing, one final thing. I keep saying final thing. The, uh, the insert that we put in this bucket was actually his prototype. Um, he was so trusting that he sent us his prototype, which was remarkable. Uh, but he actually sent us the brand new run that will be 
uh, put out for all of the people who funded the project on Kickstarter, um, which by the way, I think there's only like two or three days left. If you want to get in on this price point, he is shipping to Canada now. Uh, so I know there's a lot of people that wanted to get in. Um, you can still get in and you know, we are, we're doing this for Brian. So you don't, don't feel like you have to. Um, I get that there's something, there's something out there for everybody. And uh, we're, we're by no means um, trying to, you know, push this on anybody. I just know there's a ton of interest in the first video. And, um, and so I wanted to follow up, letting people know that there is a new campaign. I'll post the new campaign link. And I think there's like two or three days left on it. Uh, so if you want to get in on it, uh, they are really, truly fairly priced. I love, love, love these. And so, uh, Brian, wonderful job. Uh, thank you everyone for your support of Brian, this channel, uh, mint plants doing great. And, uh, hopefully you enjoyed those, uh, those tips in the beginning for plants that would be uh, better put in containers than the, uh, than the garden. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something new. Hopefully you all are uh, growing bigger, going home, and we'll be coming at you tomorrow with another very exciting video. Once things calm down a little bit and projects uh, start, narrowing, or start winding down, we're gonna have content coming at you all day. Not every, well, not all day, but every day. <laughs> I got to get out of the sun. All right. I'll catch you later. Grow bigger, go home. See ya. Bye.